Welcome to my first clickbait thumbnail. Yes, I really did buy a Hemi. I bought this Hemi. Uh, thumbnail is clickbait, but it is not bait and switch. Stick around, you'll see more of that here shortly. But I got this, this is pretty cool. Uh, got this on a tip from Uncle Tony DeFeo. It's a DeSoto Fire Dome 8. I don't really know much at all about these, but I'm anxious to learn. And most of this one is here. I'll give you guys a better look at the parts themselves. There's, of course, the valve cover. Pretty noticeable. They don't make valve covers that cool anymore. Uh, looked at the rock right here. And uh, it looks like it's in good shape. This, of course, is one of those really unique parts that you can't use from a small block. So I'm glad all of that looks good and serviceable. Uh, came with a broccoli box. You, you know that's not mine. And got the oil pan here. The valley pan. Little drool tubes. The oil pan has a little hole in the bottom of it. We don't know what from. It's not from a rod coming out the block or anything like that, but um, it's fixable. Has kind of a different water pump housing, but almost all of the hardware is there, which is a really good thing. Uh, the crank looks good. Cam. No, it's not a big comp cam roller. It's just in this box. It's got an original cam, which I can get reground. I'll, uh, you know, look into my options for this, but it's here. The boards look pretty good. They, they're going to have to go over. It's got a really significant ridge on it. Uh, you can feel it more in some than others, but it's pretty much going to have to go probably about 20 or 30 over. But they're in good shape. No gouges. Uh, obviously some taper just because of the ridge, but I think they'll clean up nicely. box full of all kinds of odds and ends. They have all the main caps and miscellaneous hardware, all bagged so nice and neatly. This is a very conscientious seller. It's got time and chain. Um, takes a, a canister style oil filter, which I kind of like those. They're funky and different have all the rods and pistons. You can tell it does not have compression like a second gen Hemi because of that flat piston, but who knows? We have to do new pistons, so we don't know what kind of compression it's gonna wind up having. But all the rods look good. All the hardware's there. We'll do more detail on this later, but you know, here are the heads. It's missing two exhaust valves, and one of the exhaust valves has a weird little chunk taken out of the corner but we don't know what that is. It doesn't look like anything that happened when it was in the engine. Wasn't a, a problem with anything coming apart. Uh, obviously, we're gonna do more video with these heads, get them out and do a, a proper video. We can't do them justice just in the back of the car like this, but I thought I would go over the parts real quick so you guys can get a better look. We're gonna do lots more videos with this to come. But uh, while I'm down here, I'm in Williamsburg, Virginia. I had to come out to the eastern part of the state to get this. Uh, came upon another discovery. This guy has a lot of other cool stuff, and uh, we're going to show more of that right now. So this, this is the DeSoto Hemi that uh, we came down here to pick up. And while we were here, we saw some other things maybe you guys would be interested in.
Yeah, I, the house number could have been written in Chinese and I would never have noticed for seeing this in the garage from the end of the road. So uh, this is Stan. Say hi. Hello, how are you? And uh, just tell us about your, your rides and the stuff you've got going on here because okay. really cool. So long story short, I bought my first car when I was 13 and uh, I have been buying, selling, trading, fixing up, upgrading. And so this is the current stable. And uh, this is an original one of 38 Hemi four speed oh, Dodge wow. Super B Coupes. How did I miss this? There's so, another one. Um, his initials, JK and JK. Um, I picked those. That it's a driver, it's dirty, it um, is not, the car's never been restored. Uh, these two A12s were found in a barn in Wisconsin. And I remember seeing these photos years ago and thinking how cool that was little did i know that's the a12 that i would end up purchasing and so we talked about the challenger that i'm restoring this is actually the car um and this was taken in 1970 and so and then it ended up going to dick landy industries and we were just having a conversation a few minutes ago that hemis are hard to tune, they don't run good. We're about to prove that all wrong, so. Mission accomplished. We got the Hemi we came down here for. Apparently we had too much fun with Hemi Stan. Stay tuned. The next three videos are really cool. If you like Mopar muscle, you don't want to miss them. For now, I gotta get home. They coordinate. They, they send people to come in the second other people leave. Well, mission accomplished. We picked up the Hemi, and Hemi Stan and I had way too much fun. And of course, the car starts behind me the second I start my video. What is it with people in this town can take what seems like six or seven minutes to do 10 feet of parking in the car? I've never seen anything like it. 